What is going on ladies and gentlemen, it's the score back today bringing you guys another video and as you can see we are on Power Pros once again If you remember a long time ago A long time ago I done 2008 MLB Power Pro success mode walkthrough with Johnson Perry myself and we completed that series One of you asked was I gonna like continue that guy in like MLB life and stuff and I'm like no I got a different plan and here it is finally Hopefully, you guys will enjoy this. But, as you may know, 2007 MLB Power Pro Success Mode, you go and you play for a college. So, this is going to be a prequel to my 2008 MLB Success Mode playthrough. So, let's just get right into it. This Success Mode is a lot different than 2008 Power Pros. I personally enjoy it. A lot of people don't like it as good. Um, it is very random because instead of having set options to either say yes I want to do something no I don't want to do something in like the quick time events random events you get these fake cards and there's a Marvin card a no card a yes card and a challenge card and they're completely random so yeah that could really screw us over uh, you know I'm Roddy Roddy continuing the catcher um, is Johnny Dame, do I have Johnny Damon? Because that's what I went with. Surely they gotta have, it, it's an open stance, right? For Johnny Damon. There we go. That's what I went with in 2008. We ain't changing it up. Okay, manual upgrade, obviously. I'm, I, my favorite team's the Red Sox. I hope I picked that on the last one. So, this, I'm really bad at this success mode. Just want to let you know that. Do you want to choose sh shortcut mode? No, we'll go through the whole thing this time. It's very long, but there's not many games you actually play, so we'll get the full experience here. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. Let's just get right into it. You see, I got... Oh, gosh. Let's listen to this. I really like this intro. <laughs> Come on, get up already. Huh? Well, I had a chance for a walk-off? No time to be sleeping. Get up already. Hmm? Who are you? Come on. You have to ask. It's me, Marvin. Yo, Marvin is back. The future Major League icon? And I was just getting it to the good part. That's not my problem. Today's the day to sign up for the baseball team. If we don't hurry up, we're going to be late. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Today I start my college baseball career. Just one more step toward the big leagues. Yeah, that's great. I'll see you over there. Hey, wait up. I'm getting right into it, guys. We're going here to the ball field. So this is the Tulips field. It's pretty close to the school. So this is where the prestigious team plays. It seems like such an old and rundown field, but I can't but I can feel a profound history here. Who are you? I'm Alvin Lockhart. If you two are here to join the team, then we'll be working to make it to the majors together. You're looking to make it to the majors too? That I am. Why else would I be joining the team? Is this team really that famous? Hey, that won't matter if you don't turn in your application forms in time. He's right. The clubhouse is right in front of you. Thanks. Hurry up, Marvin. Roger that, Chief. Hey, fresh faces, you must be the newcomers. My name's Perry. I want to join the team. And I'm Marvin Ditto. Oh, okay, I'm Toby Baker. The team's ace pitcher, leading hitter, and overall top dog. Wow, it's an honor to meet you. You know, ordinarily I'd show people the door if they can't even show up on time. But I'll make an exception for you just this once. Be thankful. Y yes sir. When did they put you in charge, Toby? Yikes, Captain. Welcome to the Tulips. I'm Robert, captain of the team. You can call me Robbie. Good to be here. You mean Toby's not captain? Jeez. We'll finish introductions early, but let's get you acquainted with everybody. Thank you. We'll start with the other first years. Peter, you go first. Sure, I'm Peter Watt. I'm into health and fitness. That's because I want to be a doctor someday. Anyway, it's nice to meet you. Yeah, same here. And this is Boris Milton. Hi, Milton. Nice to meet you. Um, uh, well, uh, you know, um, yeah. Uh, can you... 
run that by me again. Oh, he's gone. Well, Milton's a little shy, but I'm sure he'll be fine once he gets used to it. Okay, that's it for the new recruits. You don't want to forget me. Oh, it's him again. Who are you supposed to be again? I'm Alvin. My apologies, I'm a new recruit. I'm late. Wait, he's late after that little speech before? I plan to use this opportunity to become the top player in college ball and use it as a jumping point into the major leagues. Looking forward to playing with you. Er, uh, okay then. But that's real funny, that major league thing. I was being serious. Alright, alright. I guess it's good to set your sights high. Now let's move on to the second year players. Welcome to the Tulips. We're counting on you guys. The Tulips need you. Why you gotta say something like that? <laughs> Yours truly doesn't have to count on them one bit. Said this team was, but almost everyone seems really nice. Not what I would have pictured. And that does it for introductions. What about the coach? Actually, we haven't had one for years. Oh, don't worry. We're looking. We posted flyers around town. Someone will come. <laughs> You're still looking for a coach? You brought the two of us all this way without a coach. You guys really must be good. You think so? Ha, oh, this kid gets it. All right, baseball season starts in February, and it's August. We mostly just mess around until then, so come practice if you feel like it. All right, dismissed. Oh, okay. Are you sure we're gonna be all right, Chief? What do you mean? Well, like, there's no coach and no sweat. You heard Alvin, right? The team really is just that good. Just keep your eyes on the majors and give it everything you got. Sure thing, Chief. Okay, so in this Power Pros, you gotta study, okay? We, we're a college student. And uh, it's very important to study, you know? And like I said before, I'm this, I've never been good at this success mode. It's really difficult because you only play like three or four games, maybe. And it's hard to get your uh, attributes high. We'll, we'll go through everything. If you guys haven't watched a playthrough of this before, we'll go through it all. But mainly, I think I'm going to work on my power, mostly. And here's another event here. Jeez, Marvin's left his books lying all over the place. It's nice to have a roommate who plays baseball, but I'm always going to have to clean up after him. Unbelievable. What the... What's he doing with a baseball handbook? Come, let's have a look. When your vitality is low, you'll be injured. We got we got all this. We don't need this. We know how to play Power Pros. We're professionals here. Just kidding. Why aren't there any fourth years on the team? You can only do extracurricular activities until your third year at this college. The university only allows athletic participation for the first three years. After that... They want us to concentrate on our studies, I see. Ah, oh, only three years. So we got some bookworm ratings that will help us pass in our final exams. We're going into the fourth week of September already, and so the first month passed. Here we go. Alvin, you're next. What position do you want to play? Pitcher. Pitcher? We've already got Robbie and me. We don't need any more pitchers. What other positions can you play? It doesn't matter, man. You name it, I can play it. It doesn't matter. Nobody's that good, Alvin. Yeah, nobody's that good. No, I just meant since I've joined the team, I've seen you guys play, and I feel it's a level I can play at, too. Excuse me? Are you saying you can even handle playing catcher or short? There's only one way to find out. Let's see if you can play as good as you talk, rookie. Since I'm a pitcher, I can tell if you're just blowing hot air. Show me what you got. See what he's got. Put on a mask, man. I don't want to hurt you. Ha! I'll catch you anything you can throw with me with my bare hands. Oh my god. Oh. You okay, man? Jeez, I was only warming up. Awesome. That Alvin's got an arm and a half. He's amazing. Why would he come to play for a team like ours? Because this team's got prestige, of course. Prestige? Just look at him pitch. He's the one I've got to keep up with. And then one day I'll make it to the majors. The majors? You chump. You really think you can play in the big leagues? That's right, I do playing baseball because I'm going to be in a, a pro someday. Another rookie with delusions of grandeur, whatever that means. Dude, I, my vocabulary is garbage. Do you actually believe anybody from the this team is ever going to get to the majors? You guys are lacking the most important quality in, in a pro pla ball player. Talent. Hey man, are you saying I'm not pro material? Read my lips. Yes. Anybody in their right mind would pick a winning team if they want to be in the majors. Not the worst. The worst team. You don't have to be humble. I mean, you were expected to win the championship last year. What? You rookie? The only championship team from this school was the Lady Tulips, the girls' softball team. What? I mean, I sort of got the feeling your level of play was sort of low for such a good team. Wow. 
Watch your mouth, rookie. Wait, what? Wait, wait. So that's why you're here? Well, I suppose we could give the majors a shot. You tell him, Captain. What are you talking about, Robby? Ignore the fact that it was a huge mistake. We're pretty lucky to gain a player with talent like Alvin and me. This might be a turning point for the tulips. If the scouts don't see you, you may as well kiss off any hopes of making the pros. It all starts with the scout picking you out on the field, signing you to the minors, and working your way up to the majors. The tulips are a permanent fixture in last place. No scout is going to notice us. That's enough, Toby. If we win the regionals and make it to the championships, the scouts are bound to notice us. Hey, with me playing, you guys at least got a chance. We might as well make the best out of our bad situation, right? If you're willing to do it, so am I. What, together? What, you don't think I'm good enough? Well, that's not it, but do you really think you have what it takes to play ball with me? You know, you know what I mean. What? I may not be the greatest, but I've got heart. Just don't be surprised if I make you look bad one day. Okay, man, you can think of me as your rival, but you sure aren't mine. Huh? Who's... Maybe I'll tell you one day, when I think you're good enough to know. Until then, give me your best, man. So, Alvin is... He, he's out here to prove himself. He thinks he's good. He's got a lot of talk, but, you know, that's not going to do it. We're going to keep working on our power here. I've always played for contact, but in this game, I really don't feel like it's, it matters that much. So, I'm going to work on power here. What is it? You look like the indecisive type. Me? Really? Let me tell you your fortune. Um, I can see it all. You stood at many a crossroad in your lifetime. I'm sure. And you've had your regrets with each road that you chose, right? Well, yeah. Regrets like, why did I say that? Or what if I chose the other road? Wow. I do remember something like that. Okay. We're just going to skip through this. This is where you get your fake cards. Slaughter Eden. It's not that important. This is the fake cards I was talking about. We got it. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I can't keep doing this. Doubt start to tug at Perry. Perry, I'm hungry. Come with me to the cafeteria. Sure, it sounds good to me. Okay, here's where we meet some people. Ah, the cafeteria. Good food, cheap prices, and fast service. At least that's what the sign says. Huh? That sound should say cheap, slow, and absolutely awful. Well, Chief, I guess it's safe to say it's cheap, then. What'll be, boys? I'll try the chili, ma'am. One order of Willy Chili coming right up. Willy Chili, that's right. Named in honor of the, that Major League legend of legends. You mean Willy Legend? Willy actually ate here? Don't be ridiculous. You do know that Willy played ball way back in the Golden Age. Then why put Willy's name on the chili? Because I'm his greatest fan. And I needed a name to rhyme with chili. Wait a sec, that's got nothing to do with Willie Legend. Well, Willie's the one ball player that holds a special place in my heart. Mind if I ask you why he's so special to you? My grandma used to tell me stories about him. A tremendous batter, a thrilling pitcher, and an all-around nice guy who worked to be the best. He also had this great cleft in his chin. Willie Legend was definitely a real man. Just thinking about him makes me tingle all over. Alright. If he hadn't have been in an accident, he would have made an even bigger mark in baseball history. I heard he was pretty young when he passed away. Actually, I heard rumors that he survived the accident. Oh, come on. I'm serious. They say he was seen playing for a small town team in some independent league. I see. Anyway, if you're going to play baseball, you should strive to be a player like Willie. Yes, ma'am. Okay, here we go. We learn about Willie Legend here. Hey, isn't this lipstick? What What's it doing here? You think that lady dropped it? No way, Chief. It probably belongs to that girl sitting over there. Well, why don't you take it to her? Um, what's wrong? Well, you see, me and girls, I'm not very... They make, they make me nervous. Okay. What's there to be nervous about? All you have to do is hand it to her. Jesus Christ, Marvin, let's go. I can't do it. Uh, Perry, you do it. Okay, here, here we go. We got no, no, challenge, challenge. So, not the best of luck. Would like just having yes here or Marvin card, but we'll go with the challenge here. I'm not sure what happens to be honest. There's only one thing to do, and that's to strike up with conversation with the owner of this list and see where it leads. What? Wait, this is all happening so fast. Marvin is a wingman. I believe it's yours. No need to thank me. You made me back by letting me take you out. <laughs> what are you talking about? Is that you, Perry? Becky, what are you doing here? You don't know. The school's famous for its cute guys. And that's why you brought that unflattering lipstick. What do you think college is for, anyway? What? 
I mean, no, I look pretty good with that lipstick. So who is your friend? I'm Marvin, man. I'm Perry's roommate and teammate. Call me Becky. I'm an old friend of Perry's. Baseball team. Nice. If I was a guy, I'd probably join the baseball team. You like baseball? Wow, we should get together sometime and talk about the game. By the way, aren't you gonna... What? Are you crazy? This is Becky. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I wouldn't go out with a loser like you anyway. Oh, shit. Why did you have to say that, man? Oh, did I say something wrong, Perry? Let's just say Becky's opinion of me just took a nose up. There we go. So that's straight down. Huh, let's see. We still probably should work on traje trajectory here. Gonna have to get some technique points. What's the best thing for technique? Injury rate 20? Let's go for it. Oh my god, we got hurt for a thing. Ah. Uh, Jam banger. Midterms? Who cares about midterms? Once we get to the majors, none of that stuff will matter, right? What are you talking about, Chief? If your grades are low, you're in big trouble. What do you mean? We get kicked out of school. Kicked out? I can't get kicked out. That means I've only got one option. I gotta, gotta cram. Jeez, it looks like I managed to pass the exams thanks to you, Marvin. You were lucky it was the midterms, Chief. The finals in the second week of May are going to be brutal. Um, yeah. How much do you think we should study for that? That's something I'd like to know, Chief. Yeah, I guess there's no point in worrying about it now. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. I just hope we can make it across. Like I said, you, you are a college student. You have to keep up your grades. Heads up, Perry. Whoa, take it easy, Marvin. Perry. Hey, Becky. What brings you here? Just checking out the team for any potential players. From what I've seen, I can't say I'm impressed. What are you telling me? You can see everybody's face from here? Looks aren't everything, Perry. I can tell by a guy's body language and by the way he walks if he's the right guy for me. Is that so? It almost sounds like you're a pro scout or something. Really? Whoa. Hold everything. Who's that dream boy? Oh, that's Alvin. What's his position? He's a pitcher. That's him. He's the one. How <laughs> Alvin's gonna be my target this year? This year? He's your teammate, right? Come on, Perry. Introduce me. Oh, no, no. No way, Pecky. And why not? Well, because I know what you're like. The last thing I need is to have Alvin hate me for the rest of the season. Thanks for nothing. I'll just have to do it without your help. Goodbye. Oh, boy. Poor Alvin. He doesn't stand a chance. Alright, so we're hurt here. Pretty rough start, actually. I honestly I don't know how to approach this uh this prequel. Um obviously we we gotta make it to the miners because, you know that's what happened, you know. And uh if you guys haven't watched the other series, you need to do that. But I think I'm gonna call it an episode today. Uh it's gonna be a long long series with uh having to go through all the dialogue since i didn't pick the shortcut way but um you'll get the full experience with uh the success mode and um with this so i hope you guys enjoy if you don't want me reading everything let me know in the comments down below uh, also if you guys want a face cam let me know i can make that happen too um, go check out my MLB The Show, Road to the Show player. I think you guys will enjoy that if you enjoy this. And yeah, guys, uh, hopefully we can continue the series, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.